job. Well, our senior Ireland correspondent, David Blevins, joins us now. I mean, look, I mean, the big question here, David, is, is this finally going to bring some stability, some much-needed stability to the DUP? Well, Sir Geoffrey certainly has his work cut out for him on that front. He is the DUP's fifth leader in the party's 50-year history, but the third in the space of two months. Arlene Foster was ousted. They felt she wasn't taking a tough enough line against the Brexit protocol. Edwin Poots was ousted after just three weeks, basically for the same reason. They felt he shouldn't have nominated a First Minister without obtaining some concessions from the Prime Minister on the Brexit protocol. So it was always blindingly obvious that Sir Geoffrey was going to demand some movement on that issue of the trade border in the Irish Sea before recommitting the party to power sharing here at Stormont. In his first statement as leader designate, he talks about the importance of this place. He says it's where every element of society is represented, where every voice is heard, but the partnership must be based on mutual respect. And he continues... I will be speaking with the Prime Minister at the earliest opportunity to emphasise that it is not realistic to expect stability when every unionist representative in the devolved institutions opposes the Northern Ireland Protocol. The government and those who claim to be protectors of peace and stability must step up and deal with the protocol in a manner which represents the constitutional and economic integrity of the United Kingdom. So he's spelling out his agenda very clearly there. But when Paul Given, who was Edwin Poots' nominee for First Minister last week, resigns, as he's expected to, Sir Geoffrey will have just seven days to seek some sort of concession from Boris Johnson or risk a collapse of power sharing and a snap election. But remember, this is the man who negotiated the famous confidence and supply deal, £1 billion deal with the Tories back in 2017. So he knows uh, how to do business.